Hey, in a previous video, we prepared customer data for import. This customer data right here. In this video, we're going to face whatever error messages may possibly pop up with courage. Yeah. And import this customer data into SIN7. So here's the data we're going to import. And to find the import feature in SIN7, first go to the CRM area, go to Actions, click on Actions, and then click Import Contacts. Click Import from File Upload. Choose File. This is the file we're going to upload right here. Over on the bottom right-hand corner is this button Next Step. Click that, and you'll see because in the previous video we worked hard to prepare the import, many of these columns are already selected. Each header on our spreadsheet has a name and is listed here to the left. Interestingly, this column three, column four, column six do not have names. Oh, and now I remember that was on purpose. So the columns without headers, we will not be importing. I'm surprised to see that first name was not found. And that's because there's a space. SIN7 has first space name. Same thing with last name. Let's see if there's anything else that wasn't found. Oh, Delivery City was spelled wrong. So SIN7 didn't find that and match it up. So we can match it up. Now if we run into an error message and have to try to import this again, we're going to have this matching task to perform again. That's why in the previous video I advised to name the columns the same as the names in SIN7. Let's keep going. I am going to do that. Here's something interesting. There's data in the column, but there's no column name. If we scroll up here, we'll see that it's the first and last name together, which SIN7 doesn't have. So we'll leave that off. That's correct. We'll go ahead and leave it. It's not finding the sales rep ref full name because we didn't rename the column and match it up. SIN7 calls that assigned user. So let's finish matching the rest of these columns that we forgot to match. No, 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 no. All right, just about have them all. Here we go, just about there. Okay, we're good. After going through and matching all of these up, go to the spreadsheet and rename the columns to match what you selected in the pink column. That way, when you receive an error message on import, you don't have to go back and reselect all these columns all over again. Okay, matching columns, matching columns. This we do just in case we get an error message. Because if we get an error message, then uh, we can start all over again without mapping all over again. And then save that. Now we'll go ahead and click Next Step. So it sees that our pricing options don't match perfectly, but it's giving us something to choose from. And I see here that SIN7 added USD to our price option. So we'll select, select the USD. We may have to go back and match these up again because if we get error messages on this import, we may have to go through all this. It's best to have everything matching perfectly. So non should match up with none for the tax status. That's a nice feature SIN7 provides, shows us, helps us match and validate the data. Okay, it says we're ready to import. That's great. Import new contacts. This is where we cross our fingers and drum roll. Import new contacts. Click import successful. Members imported 48. I can hardly believe my eyes. It looks like it all went through perfectly. And here's a great feature that allows us to roll back if for whatever reason that import just messed everything up. This is a great feature here by SIN7. Click next step. It's matching the sub company to the primary company and it's just asking us to take it a second look to make sure it looks good and I think it looks good so I'll click next step. Click. So it did the primary company and the sub company in two separate imports. And this screen, once again, tells us we can go back if we feel like we messed anything up. So that's comforting. It's always a scary thing to import a ton of data. So this little feature takes the fear out of it. And now we can check our work and take a look at what we imported. We specifically imported customers, so I'm going to check this box, or excuse me, click this drop down. Now we can see all the customers that we imported. 
got Retail Homeowners and the Subcustomers, Dunning Pool Depot Inc. and the Subcustomers. There's Dunning's Pool Inc. And we see on the right hand side, once we go to that screen, that we have Secondary Contacts, the name of the company for the Secondary Contact, Big City Store, Angel City Store, number 112. There we go, Big City Store 002, Angel City Store one, number 112. So we see that they went into SIN 7 and we see what field we can find them on. Click Save and Back. And there you have it, my friends. As you can see, if we do our due diligence and carefully prepare all of the data for import, the importing could even go in error-free. Yay!